What's up guys, Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you a recent war recap between Invicta and Chosen Elite. This was our potluck spin and we took a long time to match and I was a little bit worried when the name Chosen Elite popped up because I've never heard of these guys. Uh, no shade on them, they brought a great fight. Uh, we clicked on clan description, it said hashtag COC potluck. We knew that we were in for a good fight and, and we were ready for one after a missed arranged war and a couple of farm wars after that. Um, at any rate, uh, we did a quick search of, of uh, YouTube and found that these guys do have a YouTube channel. It's, um, it's run by Grimm, and I will put a link to their channel in the description below. Go ahead and check them out and subscribe to that channel. They give some great content as well as some great commentary on attacks. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, um, go ahead and click subscribe right now because you'll be able to get uh, updates as soon as we post uh, new content, both from myself and from Wiser, who does the 2.0 wars. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's hop in and check out these war recaps. So here is the final war uh, statistics. As you can see, um, we put up 24 three-stars to their 16 three-stars. Um, we'll get into some of the attacks here, uh, 95.3% total destruction to 86.17. These guys had some tough bases, uh, but they struggled a bit with our bases, especially some of our Town Hall 9s. Um, several of them required bully attacks, uh, which, um, in, in, on our side, though, none of the Town Hall 9s required bully attacks. Props to the guys for getting, to, to our, our kind of six-pack, uh, champs here. We had... Um, seven six packs and almost eight. Uh, so if we if we scroll down the line here, Seb, uh, Town Hall ten, he's a beast with two ten v ten uh, triples. Um, next we have Rocky. Rocky had a six pack. Um, if we scroll down a little bit, Iggy also had a six pack. Uh, Gerg was so close to a six pack, ninety eight percent. I had a six pack. Uh, oops. Cheese had a six pack. Ryan the Great got himself a six pack. And Dally Boy. Look at there. Two, uh, fresh, um, triples. So, uh, props to all of you guys who, who pulled off the, uh, six pack this war. Um, let's get into some of the attacks. We're going to start at the bottom here. And we're going to start with Dally Boy. Um, so let's pull it up here. All right. So you can see what's going on here, right? This is the, um, Bolalo, which is, um, bowlers, uh, uh golems and, a, and then a Lalo attack. And, uh, the goal here, of course, is get the queen and get two, um, if you can, three air defenses. And he's going to get two air defenses. Um, you'll also notice that these all of these bottom air defenses here are covered in point defenses, whereas up top there's there's only two point defenses that are really going to do any damage um, to to loons at least to air attack. Uh, he does have um, bows set to air, um, but it really doesn't matter because you can see uh, that jump spell right there is going to give him access to both of those bows and at least two air defenses, and there goes one right there, the CC comes out, it's poisoned, um, gets those bowlers moving, finally, over into the center there, um, gets that second expo, heals up the, the kill squad, finally that, that baby dragon goes down, um, there goes one uh, expo, so he's still got an air defense and an expo to get down, but uh, I was going to say still has his king's ability, just pops it. Down goes the expo, down goes the air defense, and in comes his first hound, um, followed by a couple of loons. And you'll see he's going to rage them up here in just a second to push through that Tesla farm. And he goes, and once he pushes through here, it is, it is kind of game over. Um, those hounds, of course... Uh, at least one is going to survive and move up to the next air defense. And as it does, it tanks. And, yeah, it's it's kind of all over at this point. 
You can see he doesn't have any more hounds, but tons and tons of balloons, all of them working their way towards that air defense. It's, it's game over. So we'll go ahead and speed this up. Nice job. Uh, three stars in the bag, and that is a fresh triple from Dally Boy. <laughs> ah, troll Tesla down there at the bottom. I forgot about that. Okay, who do we got next? Uh, number 27. Number 27 is Gurg. Um, Gurg is coming with the dragon attack. Um, I thought this was a really cool attack. So uh, with the new meta, um, people have been placing these expos out there where they're very accessible. When you put expos out there where they're accessible, you increase the likelihood that somebody's going to just bring drags. And at Town Hall 9, if you can get rid of those expos, um, dragons are a really, really great option. So, down with the queen, down with that first expo, or the first air defense, I'm sorry. Um, I was saying expo, I meant air defense. Uh, brings in a giant um, with a couple of, uh, with some hogs. And that air defense goes down. You can see in his spells, he's going to zap an air defense. He's got one right there in the center that's just inaccessible. There it goes. And he doesn't just take out the air defense. He also, oh, I thought he got that sweeper, not quite. Uh, at any rate, um, one air defense left down there, and here comes his CC hogs to take out that air defense. And they're going to do some, some pretty good work down here on point defenses, actually. Uh, remove that. And you can see maybe a little bit early on that rage, um, but he's still got one more rage in the bag. Um, You'll see that things things actually get a little bit hairy here, and it looks like he may not pull this off. Just dropped two fresh drags that he had in the bag. So with with the with the few defenses that he has left, he's got a pretty good shot. Um, Queen is still up. Uh, right now he's got three point defenses. Um, of course, those wizard towers don't do a ton of damage to dragons. But it's taken some damage from that uh, Tesla Tower. Finally, that drag goes down. The, the, um, the issue with drags is, boy, they can be really, really slow, right? Um, and sometimes they get hung up on things like a BK instead of doing the thing that they should be doing. But at any rate, um, finishes it up. Uh, takes out that last Tesla Tower, and that's it. Three stars in the bag. Nice job, Gerg. Let's move on. Um, the next one we're going to look at is number 20. And number 20 is Ryan the Great. Uh, I like this. You'll see it's, it's a Lalo with three golems down here. So he starts by setting his funnel, um, starts bringing in one golem. And uh, the goal here is he realized that he can get three of those air defenses with a single jump. So he's got, he's got bowlers in the CC. He's, he's using some hogs there uh, while those uh, while those golems tank in order to pull out the enemy CC. And there it comes, finally. Um, enemy CC comes out. Uh, it looks like there might have been a wall breaker fail. Yeah. <laughs> finally, though, um, kill squad goes in. Queen is working on that baby dragon. She, it is gone. Jump is down, and he is rolling. So... Uh, two air defenses gone right there, and they're still pushing deep. He knows he's got one more air defense he needs to get because he's only got that single hound back there. It's a little bit scary with uh, those bows set to air as well. Um, at any rate, they finally jump over into that uh, air defense chamber. Down goes that final air defense, and in comes... Just a sprinkling of loons. You see, he's got only four loons there. And that's it. That's the last of them. But, rages that up. Knows that the pathing is going to go cannon to air defense. Uh, this hound pops at about the perfect time. Boom. And it is cleanup from this point on, right? Uh, all that's left is a cannon, which is not going to touch his loons. There we go. Nice job, Ryan. All 
All right. Um, who do we have next? Oh, we have so we have a couple of ten v ten triples, but I wanted to show number twelve. So Junior hit twelve, and I have not um, warred with Junior for a while. He's been upgrading his heroes, and we finally got that uh, level forty BK and got back into war um, by his own his own choice. He 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 sat for a while. Um, at any rate, uh, he's coming with a minor attack. You'll notice that he's only got, well, I, I believe he actually started with 20 miners. He must have dropped a couple. Um, but you see a lot of these mass miners coming with 40 miners. And what he's going to do is he's going to clear this side of the base right here and just leave a path straight down the middle for miners. So he comes in, he's going to get the town hall, and he's going to get the... Uh, Inferno Tower on the far end here. I think he might have been trying to get both Inferno Towers. Maybe he doesn't get the Inferno Tower on the far end. Um, I was thinking that he did. At any rate, Miners are in. Here they come, and Miners will get that first Inferno Tower. Heals up the Miners. Bowlers are still still moving. I mean, he, I, I think he brought, what, six Bowlers initially? So just getting tons and tons of value out of these bowlers. Um, BK is in. It's beating on that that uh, lone standing um, Inferno Tower. Down it goes. Miners. He's got tons of miners yet pushing their way through. And we will just speed this up a little bit. Um, this was just a beast attack by Junior. And... <laughs> And at the end here, um, I don't know, not the greatest thing, but swag's a heal. Boy, if you can swag a heal on a Town Hall 10 attack, that is a pretty impressive attack, especially against a, a, a clan like Chosen Elite. But great job, Junior. Uh, three stars in the bag. Um, and then I wanted to show one attack by Seb. Um, Seb had a six-pack. This guy is just a monster attacker. He brings a very similar attack. Um, two golems, uh, six um, bowlers and 20 miners, and you'll see he's doing the same thing. He is working on that funnel up top, he's setting the edge so that he can get in and he can take out at least one of those Inferno Towers. Um, in with the um, in, in with the bowlers, bowlers get raged up, queen is down, and out comes the CC. There goes one of the Inferno Towers really, really quickly. Um, think he might get the second Inferno Tower. Maybe he doesn't. I don't recall exactly. Starts cleaning the edge over here to keep the miners focused straight down the gut where all of the heavy defenses are. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He did not get that second Inferno Tower, but miners start coming in, heal them up, um, and, and it works an awful lot the, the same way that hogs used to work, right? Where you just uh, feed them in, heal them as they work their way around, let them kind of do their thing uh, before before hogs were uh, were nerfed, and that is it. One heal left in the bag doesn't really need it. Don't know if he even drops it. Ah, swag heal there too. Nice job, Seb. Three stars in the bag. Uh, never even used the queen's ability. At any rate, guys. Um, that is it. Uh, thanks a lot, Chosen Elite. Um, it, was a, it was a great war. Um, hope to see you guys again sometime in the future.